Good morning. It's Deborah with your Earth Sky Sun News Report for January 29th, 2024. Sun activity is high today. And departing sunspot region, AR 3559, is going out with a pop. It released a huge eruption earlier today, which appeared to us as an M6.8 solar flare, more than halfway to an X flare. The event produced snow on solar telescopic images as high-energy protons blasted outward at nearly the speed of light. It was as if you had a balloon coated with water droplets that expanded so suddenly it popped, sending out a spray of water, or in this case, high-energy protons. Given the location of the eruption on the sun's northwest limb or edge, most of the sun stuff flung outward should largely miss Earth. But much like a spinning water sprinkler, the sun's magnetic field comes out in a spiral, and the solar energetic particles have electric charge, so they follow the magnetic field spiraling away from the sun. This magnetic particle highway curves back toward Earth's direction in space. And so the event that released the sun protons earlier today triggered an S1 solar particle strong at Earth. That's S1 on the NOAA scale of S1 to S5. And this S1 storm is still happening now, Monday morning, January 29th, by clocks in North America. These solar particle storms can sometimes last for days, and they can continue to increase in intensity. But there's no danger to us on Earth's surface. Our atmosphere is thick and stops the particles. Plus, Earth's magnetic field acts as a kind of force field, keeping them away. On the other hand, the particles have the potential to create a hazardous radiation environment for astronauts aboard the International Space Station. And in the most extreme storms, stronger than today's storm, radiation levels can be hazardous to airline staff flying over Earth's poles. NASA heliophysicist Dr. C. Alex Young put together today's Earth Sky Sun News Report. Join us for daily sun news at earthsky.org. For Earth Sky, I'm Deborah Bird.